Hi and welcome to another How To Mini. This time I will walk you through on how to add your Animus Heart as a home controller to your Google Home. So, let's start by entering the Animus Home app. Here I have a few devices on RF 433 MHz and also some Z-Wave devices that I would like to control with the Google Assistant. To use this integration, you have to have remote access enabled. To do so, go into the settings, remote access, and enable remote access on it. Now add your Animus web account to gain access to your Animus heart remotely. So, once this is done, we can proceed with integration on the Google Home app. As you can see, I'm not using English as my default language, but the app looks the same and I don't think it will confuse anyone watching this. So, let's continue by entering the profile settings. Scroll down to the Google Assistant section and enter more settings. In the next view, change the tab to the Google Assistant tab instead and scroll down to Home Control, which is the icon with the bulb and now press add new and now a list of different home control integrations will display and from this list you will have to choose Animus Heart. This will lead you to a login page on animushome.com so now you will have to enter the same login information that you used when you enable remote access on your Animus Heart. Alright, so it says the account's now linked. You can close that one. And all your supported devices from Animus Heart will be displayed in the Google Home app. So here we have them. If you would add a new device to your Animus Heart later and wish to also have this one in the Google Home app, then you can try saying, okay, mm -hmm, sync my devices. So that's it. You can now use Google Assistant to control almost any smart home device. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.